terrorists always want more. So just glancing these headlines, and of course, you know, when your candidate wins, you're going to be happy about that, but you've suffered a four-year onslaught of this type of thing. It has never stopped. And even though it's over, they're not happy with that. They still want to do the impeachment. And they now want to enact the 25th Amendment, which who knows what's going to happen there since they've gotten their way with everything because they have terrorists which have infiltrated every single level of our government, even to the smallest posts, which was evident during the counting. They have a very far reach. They've been planning this for decades. So if you look at the sentiment in these headlines, it kind of tells you that for the next four years, all they're going to do is bellyache about Donald J. Trump. They're not going to sit there and actually do anything for us. They're just going to sit there and complain and bellyache about President Trump. They'll continue with the accus accusations of what he, he did or what he didn't do. Because their entire identity has been based on attacking Trump. And they really have nothing. So they're going to be lost. CNN and their ilk will be at a loss for words as the Camel Toe Harris administration, President-elect Camel Toe Harris, we all know this is what it really is, is going to be boring as fuck. There'll be nothing to report on. No one will watch their live streams. No one will care what they say. It will be business as usual with government bureaucrats lining their pockets and sending our money to foreign nations because they're in bed with them. And so, on goes the headlines. And instead of moving on with what they're going to do for us, they're going to spend the next four years ranking on President Donald J. Trump because they don't have their own identity. And after all, you can't expect much of character from terrorists. They just feed on others relentlessly until there's nothing, then they move on to the next one. Now that Trump is out of office, officially, they will be focusing their talons on We the People, specifically anyone who supported Donald Trump. Remember, they said they're going to make us pay. But... Trump is on the sidelines, and we haven't heard the last from Donald J. Trump yet. It will be interesting to watch them twist for the next four years, trying to gain an identity when they've had all this time to build their identity and how great they are for our country, which they haven't done that one time. So Antifa takes over the rally and makes Trump supporters look bad. Of course, they're not going to cover that. They keep saying Trump supporters. And even when President Trump concedes, and even when he tells them to go home, there's still something wrong with how he held his mouth, the expression he made, or the exact words that he used. Donald J. Trump is a true patriot, and he will always, always be our true POTUS.
God bless we the people, God bless our freedom, and God bless America, because the Camel Toe Harris administration, President-elect Camel Toe Harris, will be very busy helping everyone except we the people. I suspect they'll go ahead and crank out some $2,000 stimulus checks because after all, Biden was bribing us with that to the very last moment and Pelosi as well and Schumer and their ilk. So they'll come through on that to keep us quiet because we all know that Six hundred or two thousand dollars is going to fix everything. So we have mandates for lockdowns to look forward to. Uh, unable to defend yourself against people who physically attack you, and all these crazy, crazy things they propose. The new Camel Toe Harris administration pointing us and barreling straight to the communist United States of America. They'll probably yank down the Statue of Liberty because the only ones to have any rights are the terrorists. And even when you're on the side of the terrorists, don't get me wrong, they will take them out as well. Because terrorists will always eat their own, and they are never, ever satisfied with winning. We already have a nigger mayor, we don't need any more nigger big shots. Prosecuting parents for truancy. <laughs> To the citizens of our country, serving as your president has been the honor of my lifetime. And to all of my wonderful supporters, I know you are disappointed, but I also want you to know that our incredible journey is only just beginning. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.